It's a performance to remember the woman who left an indelible mark in music history. Writer, singer, and actress Leona Michelle is a mastermind behind the musical Little Girl Blue at Off Broadway's New World Stages. She says bringing Simone's story to the big stage has been rewarding but challenging too. I wanted to put everything on there, but you only get two hours really when you're telling a story on stage. So just really narrowing it down to uh, isolating those moments, those pivotal moments in her life that made her so iconic. Those two hours include two acts taking place at a concert from a key moment in Simone's career. The first takes the audience back to April 1968 in Westbury, New York, a few days after the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The second is at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland in July 1976. Then I played the boogie woogie. Simone, who suffered from mental illness, wasn't diagnosed with bipolar disorder until the 1980s. Considered a jazz musician, she rejected the label, preferring to be known as classical. My mother made me practice those hands. And exercises every day. A trained classical pianist, she became a foot soldier for the civil rights movement, which became apparent in her music, but ultimately had a negative impact on her career. And she was saying Black Lives Matter before it even became a saying, really. Mm -hmm. uh, so when she wrote the song Mississippi Got Damn, it was um, uh, really, it was, um, uh, she was screaming it loudly and proudly and um, declaring this to the country. I mean, she stepped up to the plate to sing this song, and because of that, she was penalized. The rights to the song couldn't be cleared for the show, but Michelle co-wrote the original Angry Black Woman to pay homage to the influential song and sings one of Simone's civil rights anthems that she popularized called I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free. I'm so proud that she has invited me to step into her shoes, you know, to breathe life into her words. The Little Girl Blue runs through May 22nd, and for ticket information, just head over to our website, pix11.com. On the west side, I'm Stacy Ann Gooden, Pix11 News.